Well, here we are. It is summertime. Summer is always my favorite collection. This one is no exception. This is so stunning. Hi, my name is Christiana, AKA The Manny Club, AKA CNH. And we are here to talk family trees for this beautiful summer collection by Olive and June. These colors are just absolutely breathtaking. The theme too, you guys, I'm ready for my vacation and these colors will take us there. Let's just dive in. Well, we must start with the house of O and J, of course. Look at this beautiful, bold, purple, blue, um, vibrant, vibrant color. This is just absolutely out of this world. Um, for someone who used to go to the Olive and June salons when we had standing Olive and June salons, um, they were beautiful. And I, I used to call it my happy place. It was just like I would walk in and it was a dream. But as we know, the color palette for Olive and June is very pale, pinkish, peachy, um, white, um, you know, airy feeling colors. So when I saw that this was named House of O and J, it took me a minute to get used to because I was like, wait a minute, that's not the color of O and J. However, I'm here for it. And I understand we're doing a House of Gucci thing, right? I think so. Um, I'm sure Liv will tell us. I'm recording these um, before I've seen the Swatch show or um, even the sneak peek. So I know we get some good information when we do those. So if I'm wrong, I know that I will be corrected very soon. Anyway, let's dive into the parents um, of this color. This is a fun one. I have to say that this one, when I, this was the first one that I attempted to do and it really stumped me. Um, we don't really have a color like this. We don't really have a purple blue color like this, not this bold. CNH is um, definitely in this family because it is also a purplish blue, um, but you'll see where she lands. Uh, let's dive into the parents. We have blueberry muffin and grape soda. Um, I did mix colors for this just because I was very excited about the possibilities of what, who the parents could be here. Um, and I mixed a couple of other blues along with grape soda and a couple of other purples along with blueberry muffin. And I couldn't get as close as I did with these two. Um, it's not an exact match by any means with combining those two, but it's close. Um, so those are the parents. Uh, I believe she is an only child. Definitely, we don't have anything like this in the collection. Definitely would like more like this, but I think she is the first of her kind for now. So only child. Cousins. So for the cousins, I decided to go with some purples that also have blue in them. So Lilac Flutterby um, has a little bit of a blue tint to it as well as Bold and Unshaken for sure. I would say that Bold and Unshaken is like a lighter version, a much lighter version of House of O and J. Um, it's one of those, I say it each time, but like same ingredients, just different recipe type of thing. Whereas this is certainly a kicked up version of Bold and Unshaken, but they do both have the same pop. Bold and Unshaken is very bright on the nail and it is um, attention grabbing. And I think House of O and J, even though it's darker, it does still have that same grab. Um, Jam Please is not necessarily one that has blue in it, but it does have that pop we're talking about. So I went for it there. Um, Plaza, a much darker, a much more berry. It's got some red in it, but I do think there's blue in that in that mix as well. So she's a cousin. And then Velvet Poof in TLG. Um, there's no blue in, Vel in TLG, but she's here anyway in Velvet Poof. So those are all of the cousins. 
I will say when I'm doing these purples, we have our purple purples are just so different from one another. There is not one in this lineup right here that you can compare and go like, oh yeah, those are similar. And all of our purples are kind of like that. So, and and by the way, we have a massive collection of purples now. So when I'm doing these family trees, I am no longer putting every single purple in the lineup. It's only purples that are relevant to the conversation that we're having about the, um, the featured color here. So you're not going to see a million purples in this family tree. You're just going to see a select few that are relevant to this family. So that takes us to Play Cousins. And I went with TT here as opposed to like the usual for a lighter purple here because again, it's got a little hint of that blue in it and this compliments very nicely um and then we've got you're invited this again doesn't have as much blue but you can see the the difference here it's it leans a little bit more pink than these two um these two lean blue this little lady leans pink here is cnh now i'm gonna put those two next to each other and you can see that this sort of shows you the denim nature of CNH. Um, I think CNH is very purple. It's very periwinkle in my opinion. Oops, I just dropped one. Um, but um, that's why I added her here because I think that this is yet again another sort of kicked up version of CNH. Um, I have art class here, which is a little bit more gray and um, has more putty in it than any of these colors really do. But I wanted to add her here for comparison as a play cousin. And then we've got Wild Orchid, this one, and SD. So these are all over the place, right? I mean, you know, there's there's less rhyme or reason with the play cousins and it's more just like, let's, let's explore some of these other purples. Um, but again, looking at this lineup, I can't say that anything looks the same here. So, um, in fact, what's funny is that I think CNH and House of O and J are the closest if we're gonna play that game here. But one is a blue and one is more of a purple. Anyway, let's look at some of the BFFs that don't necessarily have to be purple, although, there may or may not be a purple in here for you. Let's find out. Look at that. Okay, so we've got this lettuce is radicchio, which is a purple, but it is very magenta. Um, and I, I think that's really beautiful together. It's, well, Wild Orchid was in the last category, um, also very pretty here, but... I love that this is gonna come on as a jelly. This lettuce is radicchio will come on as a jelly, um, which might be a nice combination mani petty wise here, you know, for this to be the mani and this to be the petty. A uh, hundred percent chance, you know, I always pick a gray in the BFF's selection or section, not selection, well, either one. Section is what I meant to say. Um, and that's because it has blue in it. You know, there's there's definitely a hint of blue in this dark gray. So I thought that that would be a nice compliment to each other. Um, I am a Lakers fan, so, you know, kind of had to, to do that. That's it. I don't have anything else to say about it. Go Lakers. They're playing tonight. So let's let's see how this ends. Um, glow is just another really fun, really unexpected combination for the summer. Um, and then we've got some muted colors here with wait, does it come in pink? And BP as another sort of light blue um, to explore wearing with House of O and J. Also a really pretty combination. All right, that is House of O and J, my friends. Well, let's talk about bocce ball because this color is so cool. Um, 
once again, we don't have anything like it in the Olive and June collection. I know our greens are sort of slowly growing, um, but the same way I talk about the purples where each one is so individual and we don't really have anything like it. We don't have like sister colors for a lot of our greens. Um, this is this is one of those. This is standout um, only child. I have to say this collection, you're going to see that a lot because this collection fills in so many gaps um, that we've wanted to see in the Olive and June collection. Um, so most of them are only children. Spoiler alert, sorry. But there's nothing like this. We don't have anything like this. So let's take a look at the parents. How did we get here? Well, Lime Fizz and Jewel Pop. And I actually did some extensive mixing to get to this. Um, again, I don't have a green that really makes sense to mix um, to get to this. It's not like it stands in the middle of two greens that we've got. So I really had to get creative. Um, I did try to use like Yes Please or Blueberry Smash as opposed to Jewel Pop and they didn't work. They didn't get there. Um, Lime Fizz was the closest with Jewel Pop. So those are the parents. Um, as I mentioned, this is an only child. Got nothing like it in the collection. Would love to see more like it because it is rad. Um, and then let's talk cousins because this is this gets really interesting. Um, because this is a green that does have some blue in it, it is, when you look at it in the bottle, it is a true, just straightforward green. But when you break it down into what the sort of under layers are, it's not a green that has yellow in it, in my opinion. It's definitely a green that's got some blue. So I chose to lean in to those types of greens as the cousins. So KMC is actually the least like that, in my opinion, just because it's so pale. But it, it is. It's got, you know, a tiny bit of that aqua in it. Um, and then Cucumber Sandwich has a little bit in it, um, a little bit of that green and blue mix in there. We're just gonna keep going down that line with our green blues, and we've got um, Lawn Games, we've got Green Canteen, and then the darker two, we've got Besties and Into the Trees. So, looks like I need to shake my bottles up a little bit. Um, so wildly different colors, all of them. Um, this is kind of a cool ombre, right? Anyway, um, wildly different colors here. This green bocce ball stands alone, but I did want to honor the hint of blue that does run through it. So that's why these are the cousins. And let's get on over to the play cousins. We've got a little bit more of that green blue theme happening in there, but we are gonna branch out a little bit just cause these greens are so different. Um, okay, so here we are going to start this party with sleeping bag. I love this as a combination. Absolutely love it. Um, Energize, very different. <laughs> it's just so different. Um, this does have yellow. Looking at it next to these two, you can probably see that it Energize has a lot more yellow in it than these other two colors. WKF, Army Green, totally different than this like Kelly Green that we've got going on here. Um, but I did want to show these all next to each other just so you can see the different options that we've got here. And I do think that Touchdown and Geometry are closer i should swap all these and get them like into the right position so that you can see them on the swatch as well as the bottle um yeah these these are getting more into the still true green but more yellow than than this guy than this little bocce ball and then of our two dark greens we've got ll because to me it's Blue, look at that. I mean, that's the one that has the hint of blue in it. So it's actually dark green to me is um, more, it's black, that's for sure, but it's got more of um, that like true green, no real blue in it 
it's more like geometry meets, you know, e &M, something like that. So anyway, that's not even here to talk about, but LL is because she's got the blue in it. So there you go. That would be Play Cousins. Let's talk about BFFs. As I move all my bottles. Let's get wild, because this is always fun. Um, Angel Fish is more blue than green, in my opinion, although it is a shade shifter. I think this is the original shade shifter that um, Katie of WKF, this little lady right here, um, I think this is the original one that made her feel like this color is two different things. It is a green and it is also a blue and it's just like truly both of those things depending on what you pair it with. So that's why I had to add it here. This one's for you, Katie. Um, hot strawberry is so much fun here. Like this is screaming summer to me. That is everything. I love it. Um, and then we've got for our gray here, we've got our house. And for our neutral, K-A-G, which is really pretty with it as well. And then Jam Please and Orange Wedge are just, you know, more fun, bright colors to go with this fun, bright green. Um, this color just like screams off the nail and I feel like you can pair it with anything. You can let it be the star and pair it with something like, you know, one of these more subtle colors or you can just go all out and and get bright with it so those are the options and there are plenty more but these are the ones we're talking about today okay so this is flower pot and she is my favorite because we've been asking for a burnt orange color for ever so she's finally here i actually am shocked that it's a summer collection color i think I was expecting burnt orange to come out in fall, and um, it's definitely a color that I would probably wear more in the fall season, but I'm not mad at it. I, I do feel like every summer we have a color that is a fantastic transitional color. Um, CNH is one of those colors, and that was a summer collection color a long time ago. So um, this is our, actually this whole collection is kind of year round to be honest, but um, I love how transitional this color is going to be from summer into fall. Anyway, let's look at this family because she's interesting. Parents here, we have your 10 and JJ. And um, that's quite clear, right? Um, your 10 is a brighter orange and then mixed that with a little bit of a deeper brown. Um, I use JJ and not maybe Tip Your Barista or another brown just because um, JJ is a little bit, um, it has a little bit of like clay, a little bit of mauve tone to it. So um, that lends itself nicely to the burnt orange um, that is flower pot and let's see yet another only child this collection is full of them because like i said these colors are sort of in a league of their own one of a kind so more only children here cousins i went uh straight for some of our favorite oranges here we've got counselor in training citrus squeeze Sweet and Gracious and Orange Wedge. We've got a little thing going here, um, a theme going today where all of these colors, it's like no two polish colors are the same in these families, um, which makes it a lot of fun for me, but also a little bit challenging because sometimes it's easier when we have colors that are like just sort of one shade up or down. It makes it a lot easier to... Um, put like the siblings together or the cousins together, but here I gotta get creative. So I went with some of the sort of straightforward oranges that we have. Of course, Orange Wedge is our bright 
and shiny poppy neon cousin here. Everything else is a little bit more muted. Um, but you know, you look at these colors and outside of um, Citrus Squeeze here, all of these colors are summer launches. So we usually do get our orange colors in the summer. Um, this one just happens to be a little bit deeper, darker, moodier, and um, leaning a little bit more fall to me, but we do get our oranges in the summer. This was summer last year. This was, um, forget it. I'm not even gonna try to do years, but maybe 2020. And then this was one of our neons from our Summer Brights collection, um, possibly 2021. Anyway, you get the point. They were all summer shades. We love an orange in the summer, so flower pot is no exception. Okay, so those are our cousins. Let's find our play cousins here. We've got, you love her, you love her, you guys. <laughs> J-O, B-I, C-S, M-G, and start small. If I can get them in there. Okay, so we are no longer in like our true orange colors here. Now we've moved on to our like um, sort of, I don't know, muted, pottery, earthy, um, what do we call our terracotta, you know, in the family with our MG and our start small. We're getting into that, which I think is really beautiful with flower pot. Um, this is a stunning ombre, I would, you know, Fine, remove J.O. from that ombre if you must. Um, and, you know, maybe do something like, like that for a beautiful, nice, earthy ombre here. Um, really pretty. That's gorgeous, actually. Um, you know, not necessarily like screaming summer because it's not super bright. It's more of a subtle um, ombre option there, but I love that. Um, and so I know you scream every time I do it, but J.O. is really beautiful with oranges, guys, I promise. Okay, so those are the cousins, a um, little bit more muted. I could have gone to the corals with, um, you know, glow and wild and free and all of those, and you can certainly pair those with flower pot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but because um, flower pot is such an earthy, um, it, that's such a a, a color that um a description that is really repeating itself with this color i just lost my words there for a second guys no idea what i was trying to say um but because this is such an earthy color i didn't do that because those corals tend to go like super bright and i wanted to honor the um sort of undertones of this color and that's why i went with our more muted uh play cousins here okay so let's talk about some of Flower Pot's BFFs. Now, because I find this to be a little bit more of a fall color, um, you'll see how I leaned here. So oh, let's center that little page there. Okay, so, um, you know, Rainy Day Walk is my gray that I've paired with this. Really pretty together, really um, sort of letting that orange pop. Rainy Day is giving a sort of like base for that to pop. Um, same here with MM as the neutral that I would pair with Flower Pot uh, as a Manny Petty, any you know, anything you want to do. And then TLG, really nice little touch there with the purple blue canoe, which is also a summer color that I find to be super transitional. So Thought they would be nice together. Um, Caramel Budino. Caramel Budino, truthfully, could have gone a little bit higher up in the family tree, but um, I didn't want to exclude her um, from it at all. So she is a BFF, even though possibly could have been a cousin, play cousin. Um, and then Geometry. So look at all of those colors together. These are 
to best friends. You can pair them how you want. You can skittle this as an ombre, um, play around. But these are some of the colors that I think you can wear these combinations in both summer and fall. So that is Flower Pop for you. We have a burnt orange, what? Okay, let's talk about Not a Cloud. The name is perfect for it because this is just a dreamy blue sky of a color. Um, let's talk about the parents. This one's fun because I feel like we do actually have um, some blues in this family that we can really directly compare them to. Um, let's see, we've got Boost and Blueberry Smash as the parents. Um, just, she's sort of just right in the middle of those, you know, it's not a perfect mix, but I did do some mixing and got kind of close. So um, what I do like about this color, Not A Cloud, is that it has a little bit more pop than Boost. Um, Boost is a little bit more muted, and that's why I added Blueberry Smash as the other parent, because obviously we know Blueberry Smash was one of our um, brights, you know, one of our neons a few years back. So this is um, not necessarily as vibrant as Blueberry Smash, but definitely not as muted as Boost. It's right in the middle, giving you like just the right amount of um, glow off of your nails, right? And so let's talk about siblings because we actually do have one here. Like I said, we've got um, a couple of blues in this family, so we can compare. Mega Bay Blue is the sibling. Um, again, you'll notice here that uh, that splash of blueberry smash in here as a parent really um, sets off, just gives it more of that bright blue feeling here. Boost um, is more muted as a parent, and then Mega Bay Blue is more muted here as a sibling. So you can directly compare those two and see where they land, and then um, on the page as well. Okay, so that is Mega Bay Blue as the sibling. And then let's talk about cousins here. Center that on the page. So I went with some of our lighter blues here um, as the cousins, just because, I mean, Not A Cloud is right in between the sort of light blues and the blue, the blue blues. <laughs> The light blues and the dark blues, it is really a true mid-tone blue, um, but we kind of ran out of our mid-tone blues in the more immediate family, and I decided to explore the softer blues here in the Cousins with Cheers, B.I., even just those three together are really pretty, but you can see Cheers is um, a baby blue with a little bit of gray in it, while BP, did I say BI earlier? I meant BP. Um, we already talked about BI. Um, BP has a little bit more purple in it, and then you'll see that Not A Cloud leans more true blue, especially next to these. And then we've got um, Honest and True, Berry Basket, and Dolphin Blue here. Let me take that out and show you like this. Um, so yeah, these are, you know, dolphin blue being more of that icy, actually all of these are sort of more of that icy blue here. Um, but if we're going for a comparison, this just gives you an idea of just how vibrant not a cloud is next to these more muted colors, but very pretty if you wanted to do an ombre and have a little pop of color in it, I would probably take out BP if I were to do that, um, because it's it really does have a lot of purple in it uh, next to all of these. But yeah, that could be fun. Any version, like using the family trees for an ombre cheat sheet is really helpful just because it's all laid out for you. You know, you can use it vertically or horizontally and just like grab colors down the line or across the line and get a really pretty ombre combination. So don't forget to use these that way. I know they're just fun to look at from time to time, but if you are someone who struggles with putting color combinations together, 
these family trees are here to help. Um, okay, so let's go down to the Play Cousins. Now here's where I decided to explore the sort of darker blues that we have. Um, Blue Canoe, you can see, looks like it just has a little bit more um, purple in it. And we have Social Studies. And we have, oh, not that one. We have Can't Lose and Blueberry Smash. And then we get into the really dark blues with OMG and um, Make a Res. So here are some of our dark blues. I, again, being super selective with family trees now, if you don't belong in a family tree, you will not be there just because you're in the general family of the color. Like CNH is not in this family color because there's this family tree because there's so much purple in it that um, it just doesn't really make as much sense here. So, you know, as I was looking at these, I just felt like Blue Canoe and Social Studies, while they have a slight amount of purple in them, next to CNH, they are more true, much more true blues, which Not A Cloud is. So that's why CNH is excluded and some other colors are as well. Anyway, um, so these are the Play Cousins, just some of the darker blues and um, you could have a lot of fun playing with ombre and mani pedi combinations here too. Okay, let's talk about some of the BFFs. These are fun BFFs here because you could really go in any direction. These mid-tone blues tend to look good with a lot of different colors. So let's see what we did here. Actually, I could just move that. Um, Okay, so I decided to give Frosted Gloss a little BFF moment here with Not A Cloud. That could be really beautiful layered one on top of the other, um, Frosted Gloss on top of Not A Cloud, but it could also be a really pretty combination. Um, then we've got Our House as the gray. Ooh, look at those three together. That could be a pretty um, mini as well. Uh, K-A-G as a neutral there, and Lava, Wild Orchid, and Not Kale are all BFFs. They would all look really beautiful with this bright blue. Um, these are all just really pretty together. Lava and Not A Cloud, um, you know me. I love a red and blue moment. And Wild Orchid really pops. These two really pop next to each other. And then Not Kale, just a fun blue and green for the summer. Yeah. <laughs> blue chartreuse moment for the summer. Could be really fun. Okay, Not A Cloud and all of her friends. Okay, let's talk about the color you have been looking at on my nails this whole time. How do you spell Bougainvillea? Well, I don't know, still, even though it's written here and all over this bottle, uh, I would not be winning the spelling bee. But we can talk about the color <laughs> and the family. Um, this color is really pretty and we do, as you know, have a very extensive purple family in general, so um, this is going to be a fun one. Parents here are... Wild Orchid and Jam Please. Um, Wild Orchid is just very bright and a little bit more pink leaning than how do you spell Bougainvillea? And then um, Jam Please is just a brighter, like a brighter, lighter purple. Um, so I guess this color here, how do you spell, can be a little bit more, you know, it's like this, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a shade shifter. Some people will see this as a pink. Some people will see this as a purple. Some people will be like, no, it's a true mauve. Um, I think it's in the purple family, in the sort of mid-tony purple family um, on the lighter side of that. But uh, I'd be interested to hear the description, um, the official description, because again, I'm recording these a lot um, 
you know, far in advance. I haven't heard Liv's description of it. I haven't heard anyone break it down. So these are just my own thoughts. Um, anyway, uh, rambling at this point, but you get it. So it can be, I think some people could put it like a little bit more towards the pink family, the way wild orchid can go sometimes, but um, I do think it's purple. So we are going to go down the purple rabbit hole this time. But the siblings are, let's see. This lettuce is Radicchio and TLG. So this lettuce is Radicchio, um, is a jelly and in the bottle looks a little bit darker than this. However, um, on the nail, uh, Radicchio is, you know, it's a little bit lighter. So I will say the formula on how do you spell Bougainvillea, Bella, Bella? Um, I've heard people pronounce this word all kinds of ways. Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea, and then some people who just butcher it all together, which by the way, could have just been me. Um, anyway, so how do you spell is a little bit, um, a little bit transparent, which you might be able to tell here. It's not jelly, but it is super buildable. Um, this is two coats that I have on now, so you can still see a tiny bit of my whites. Um, generally I don't like that, so I would probably wear three coats of this color. Um, anyway. Got a little sidetracked there. These are the siblings, TLG also being a sibling. They're both a little bit darker, but still, again, in that mid-tone um, purple family. So let's go down here to the cousins. And here's where we start to go a little wild and have fun all over the place. Um, grape Soda Plaza. I'm going to get them all down here and then talk about them. Um, Velvet Poof, those are the sort of darker cousins, and then the lighter, more mid-tony purple cousins, Fierce and Loving, You're Invited, and Cockatoo. So, as you can see, how do you spell Bougainvillea lives right in the middle of those, right? Um, I picked these purples because most of them have a little hint of pink in them as well. We talked earlier about purples that have blue in them and there was some crossover, like um, Plaza was also in that family tree. Um, but here we're gonna talk about purples that have a little bit more pink in them. Um, grape soda is just a vibrant sort of true purple. It could go with anything. It could go with a purple that has blue. It could go with a purple, just any purple. So she's here, Plaza is um, the deeper, as well as Velvet Poof, just deeper, darker purples. Um, and then these three lighter ones, I chose them as opposed to some of the others, just because again, they've got that element of pink that we have here. So those are the cousins. Play Cousins. Every time I move these bottles around and they like clank around, it just feels like this is my version of ASMR. For some reason, I could really just listen to nail polish bottles <laughs> all day. Um, I have a feeling I'm not alone in that. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the Play Cousins. We've got some lighter, some darker, some mauve, just all over the place again. The usual world lit which is um, a true mob next to this. Um, and then we've got That's Heart, Purple Puka, Lavender Stems, and then just really going to the dark side with SD. So these are the Play Cousins, and um, they just fit so perfectly here because it's just this lineup is just really playful. Um, you know, you could go, I like to have a deep, dark, moody moment in the summer every once in a while. So um, you could really embrace that and go with SD as a pairing, or you could just be super whimsical and, um, you know, 
take take this combination to Disneyland. We've been talking about Disneyland. Um, purple puka, you can get some sparkles in there, get some iridescent vibes in there. Um, lavender stems would be a beautiful sheer to match with this color. You know, you've got options here. Um, World Lit is the only one that like, it could totally work. I'm just gonna single her out for a moment and talk about this. Um, World Lit is just a much more muted moment here. This is very beautiful. It could totally work as well. But um, I really did just want you to see uh, a, ma a true mauve color next to this purple because it does show you, um, it does show you just how bright this can be. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to the BFFs. Um, so if you wanted to have a red moment, I decided to go berry here with Nail Fee Time. Again, it just has a little bit of purple and pink in it. It's not, um, that true red CV type red, which could also be really pretty here. But for a red pairing, I thought to lend itself to the purple here that a berry would be nice. You could go JG as well. Um, and then if you wanted just like a straight up pink... I would go Grateful and Kind, Neutral, CDJ, and then some fun colors to pair with it. Golden Afternoon, Energize, and Blueberry Smash. These are just kicking it up a whole notch. Um, you know, these are, these are sort of, these three are sort of safe pairings. <laughs> neutral pink red really pretty but um if you wanted to just go super bold you could go with any of these three really really unexpected combinations here but really pretty um okay that would be how do you spell bougainvillea 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 however you want to say it there's only one way to spell it now. We know that. All right. Bye. Last, but certainly not least, um, let's talk about Star Shower. So originally I was not going to do a family tree for this because the honest truth is that I have a feeling this is going to be a parent, a new parent introduced to a lot of future colors. Um, and so I was just like, I don't know. It's It's a tough one. We don't really, we have some iridescence, we have some micro glitters, but we don't really have a lot of um, gold influenced micro glitters. In fact, I think we only have one other. Anyway, all this to say, at the very last minute, I did decide to do a family tree for it. It is wonky, it is all over the place, as I'm sure you could imagine. Um, and there are a few different ways I could have gone with it, or I could have just said, you know what, she's a new parent and you'll see her in future family trees and left it at that. But I didn't do that. So let's see what kind of shenanigans I came up with, got into for this family tree. Okay. So, um, you know, there's really no match for parents here. So I just made it up. Um, Cosmic is our other really, really fine micro glitter, but it is silver and in Star Shower, it's gold. So, um, you know, it is what it is. And then I added, um, Sandy Scallop here. It is not an exact match because the truth is, and I'm going to take the bottles away and show you on the page that, um, Star Shower is clear. Um, it's super clear on the nail. It is very, very difficult to see. It's sort of um, one of those, if you know, you know, polishes that I like to say. It's like your own personal secret. Um, Sandy Scallop is not that. Sandy Scallop is visible on the nail. Its base is tan, and it's totally different than both Star Shower and Cosmic. So these are the most similar, except, you know, um, Star Shower has a little bit more of an iridescent base and also Star Shower is gold flex and um, or micro glitters I guess and Cosmic is silver but you know 
we work with what we've got. So <laughs> those are the parents. And then definitely an only child, another one. And then here we go. Let's look at some of the cousins. Now I could have gone with the iridescent branch of this family, um, but I decided to focus on the gold because once again, this is our first, well, second, I guess, gold micro glitter that we're seeing. Um, maybe even third, anyway. In this form, it is certainly a first. Um, so I wanted to focus on the gold family members because it's a real party. We've got party pants, Obvi. Is it too much? This is a really fun comparison. OJBH, OJSM, and Sundance Shimmer. So these are the gold members that's funny, the gold members of um, this family. I, you know, it's like you can look at this and be like, they're all so similar, or you can look at this and be like, they're all so totally different. I am of the also totally different um, mindset here because um, party pants, really tiny, really um, monochrome, monochromatic glitter here, right? It's just all sort of that... Um, rose goldy thick glitter then we've got obvi which is like a disco party um it's rainbow gold glitter the reflection of each one has all of the different rainbow colors in it so that's the difference between these two um then you go to is it too much and it's gold flex it's like gold foil and then we've got the three gold um shimmers over here. One is true gold, one is rose gold, and one is more of like a bronzy color. Um, those are the gold, the gold glitters, shimmers of our Olive and June collection. And now we will add this pretty little lady who is the smallest, most micro glitter of the bunch. Okay. So, as I mentioned, that I could have gone with the iridescent um, polishes for the cousins, but I wanted to focus on gold just because it's unique that we get a gold um, micro glitter. Uh, and so I gave the play cousins section of the family, branch of the family, um, to the iridescents. And that is Pink Capiz Oyster, uh, Lucky Oyster, excuse me. Um, this is Cold Foam Please, which is another uh, glitter. There, you can kind of see it in the bottle there. Micro, micro glitter. If you know, you know. If not, you'll <laughs> never see it. Um, this is a gold little micro glitter shimmer in here with this polish. I could have put this in the um, probably not siblings branch because it is totally different. It's got an opaque regular sort of polish base. Um, but I maybe could have put it in the Cousins just because it is another gold. But I didn't just because it is um, more of that neutral tan color than it is the gold. Anyway, it is here now. Uh, and then I've got Pink Goldfish, Frosted Gloss, and it's never enough. And so these are the... Um, Play Cousins here. The only one that I also considered moving up into um, maybe even a sibling was Pink Capiz. And that's because it has um, that sort of, let me pull them, put them right next to each other. They've got um, that sort of gold pinkish iridescent base to them. But the only reason I didn't make it a sibling um, was because there's no gold uh, micro glitter there so you know could have gone like I said a few different ways but this is the way that we went so here we are okay so those are the play cousins the iridescence and um cold foam please oh and let's talk about this for just a moment um, it's Never Enough is in here just because of that iridescent base along with, um, you know, the it's not glitter, but it's the foil, the sort of flex. But I thought that would still be a fun play cousin. But that's the difference there. 
Okay, so let's talk about some of the colors that might be really fun to pair or layer with Star Shower, which by the way, you can layer just about anything with this and it's gonna be gorgeous and totally change the color of that base polish. But let's pick out a few, discuss these. So um, I went with Stellar here because it's another, this is another um, micro glitter shimmer situation here. And I think for the summer, every, everyone really loves a white Manny. Um, and I think that you can't go wrong with pairing these two together. Um, white Petty as well could be fun there. Uh, then we've got, where did I go with this? Um, purple Puka I put in here just because that would also be a fun pairing, not necessarily a layer, although you totally could, and that would be really pretty as well. Um, just to give it like a little extra plump with that micro glitter. Um, and then a neutral, the queen takes her tea with milk. That would be a stunning layer on top of the queen takes her tea with milk. Um, also strawberries are in season right now. Pretty layer there. That's a jelly polish again. So it would really just like make this pop nicely. And then for a little minty moment, that could be really pretty as a layer um, with sleeping bag. Instance and sunset, same situation there. So we've got a couple, um, you know, of these iridescent micro glitter uh, polishes here, followed by some sheer jelly moments, and then um, sort of just that regular polish, that regular sort of like uh, opaque, um, I was going to say matte, not the case. But anyway, our, our regular polish solution there um all right that is star sh star shower oh my goodness i am just i've clearly been talking too long my words are escaping me but there she is <laughs> we have made it to the end and i just have to say this collection is so stunning each color individually and of course together it's, this is just a knockout. Um, and then the whole vibe of this, oh, it's a summer dream. I mean, postcard from Portofino, I just, it's, I take me there right now. Um, and I can't go there this summer. I'm jealous of anyone who is going there this summer. But with this collection, I feel like I'm getting a little taste of it and it's making me so happy. Um, I do also want to say that if you're looking for a scent to match this collection, which I know is not something I usually talk about here, but it just so happens that I tried a new perfume that matches so perfectly with this collection that I just have to mention it. Um, it's Le Labo and it's called Neroli. Um, and it is inspired by Portofino and it is um it's sort of like a citrusy um gardenia sort of sun um sun bathed it's incredible I don't <laughs> when talking about polish I can give you all of the descriptions when talking about scent um I fall a little bit short but it really does it smells like a vacation in Italy and so I've been wearing this collection and wearing that perfume and I feel like I have just escaped and it's amazing. So if you want to pair that, I encourage you to try either the one by Le Labo called Neroli or the one by Tom Ford called Neroli Portofino. So they're both sort of in the same vein, but both inspired by Portofino. So you can look and smell like you're on vacation in Italy wherever you are. <laughs> um, well, that's just my little side note. Here's this beautiful collection. Enjoy it. Happy summer.